morning. Nice to see everyone here after a good party last night. Nice to see you all. So uh, let's uh, start talking about the artificial intelligence and how we use it in the content creation and distribution world. So first things first, I'd like to uh, talk about SPI a little bit. SPI is a global media company. We have 62 TV channels broadcasting in 69 countries, reaching almost 65 million homes with our vast library of over 40,000 titles in about 20 languages. Our goal at SPI is always empowering the operators to build the future of the TV experience together. So here's a quick movie about us. Having a good time. Right, so AI, this is the talk of the town, right? But why now? Because the artificial intelligence and machine learning existed since the inception of the computers and even before. But why now? Because recently, ChatGPT released its uh, version of the uh, newest product to the public in April 2023, and by now, over a billion people already used it. And everybody, especially storytellers, love to create doomsday stories about machine learning and robots taking over the world. Think about the Terminator, you know, killing everybody. Or think about the metrics. It's actually robots in a human form coming together and physically taking over the entire world. But what actually ChatGPT and others in the current form of artificial intelligence is doing is much more interesting and maybe dangerous or maybe uh, opportunistic in a way. They're actually cracking the code of our human brains, the language. Artificial intelligence is transforming how, the way we create and distribute content in a way that will change our world. Even today, there's an episode of Seinfeld entirely created by artificial intelligence that is called Nothing or Forever. You can access it online. Netflix in Japan recently created an entire short anime, the entire story, through an artificial intelligence computer generation. Hootsuite is already creating social media posts for your company that you can just easily choose among uh, choices and, and push it forward. Um, and Google just introduced a universal translator, which is dubbing your content almost instantly. Just think about how your content will be distributed in so many more languages so quickly. So AI-powered tools actually promise faster outcomes and makes a lot of, creates a lot of savings. And at SPI, how do we use this technology? Well, content localization. We did a pilot project, over 300 hours of series, 
were actually subtitled in less than 24 hours, checked by human, it was good, and then we released it and pushed it to our operators. We have a now a goal to localize one of our thematic channels in the next quarter entirely in a new language by dubbing and, uh, and see how it functions. We basically throw our code into the chat GPT and check where the mistakes are of our OTT code and helps us improve. It's a computer brain working with humans for the developers to save a lot of time and energy. We use it, chat GPT for monitoring, uh, for marketing purposes, and uh, creating a lot of automation. Our metadata is entirely analyzed by the, those uh, similar artificial intelligence tools and optimized uh, in order to create more blog content, editorial content, and social media. And of course, it's always refined by human creativity. So it's basically a huge tool that does the hard work for you. And yes, more is yet to come. So where do we usually use these AI tools, especially on our flagship app that's called Finbox Plus? Finbox Plus is basically a, our OTT app integrated to multiple operators that combines the lean back approach of the TV channels and the lean forward approach of the uh, VOD. And um, here are the operators that we are already integrated with. This week in Poland, with one of the biggest Polish operators, Vectra, we just announced that we launched together. Hopefully this summer we'll be launched with uh, Bulgarian Bulsat.com uh, with our colleagues who are here. So we're already integrated globally uh, with almost 50 operators re reaching millions of homes. And what do we do with when we are integrated? With, when we look at the con content consumption with the AI, what do we think? Well, look, streamers are spending $26.5 billion this year, up 14% compared to previous years, to content creation. But at the same time, almost 40% of every subscriber drops or stops watching after watching a single content that was recommended to them by a friend or somebody they know. And most common reason, they run off, out of things to watch. This is a global phenomenon. And then we need to, we sat down and we said, we need to find a solution. So we borrowed the lean back, the relaxed, the serendipity approach of zapping and pushed it into the, our app. And we designed a product that's called Smart Channels. It's basically digital live channels. Uh, our content creators sit down, categorizes the content, select the VODs, does a perfect programming for a specific region and upload it to the CMS and with a pressing on a button, creates a specific channel with a name and logo. And smart channels, uh, here's a video of how we do this in a very short. Filmbox Plus presents Filmbox Smart Channels. Introducing smart channels exclusively on Filmbox Plus. Enjoy curated playlists of back-to-back on-demand content similar to traditional linear channels but with a digital twist. Choose from genre-specific or content-driven playlists dedicated to your favorite actors or directors and experience a smooth transition between linear and on-demand viewing. Join Filmbox Plus for an immersive streaming journey that brings your favorite content to life like never before. Upgrade your entertainment and unlock the magic of smart channels only on Filmbox Plus. Thank you. And smart channels are basically specific, uh, specifically and specially curated playlists of content uh, that are actually enhancing the viewership experience and creates opportunity for the viewer to uh, zap between different channels that are up there next to our linear channels in our app. If you're integrated with us, then it's all automatically pushed into your setup box as well. Um, it's a video first approach. It's a, we create 24 hour scheduling. We can do pop-up channels and uh, it's actually enhanced by our EPG experience, which is all the content that is existing. When you browse between different channels, you can also scroll down and see what's coming next. So I'm just gonna move 
to the next slide and show it to you. So this special feature, actually, while you watch the channels, if you scroll down, you see the entire EPG of all our channels, linear and smart channels, in the app. And by two sh uh, uh, pressing one button, you can be transition between v VOD and linear channels in a seamless way. So this is a very smooth way of going back for and forward between uh, VOD and linear channels. And why to have uh, smart channels? Well, it's very simple. People love watching channels and the zapping experience, and they love that somebody else curated something for them. They, ha they have, everybody's had enough of this choice fatigue. So uh, we curate special channels for them. We can create pop-up channels. We can do marketing opportunities. Imagine if we, there's like a children's day in Croatia next month, then we can just create a smart channel for kids and do market it with the operators and, and re make it uh, available to the audience. So with smart channels, we're actually leveraging, leveraging our strength in linear channels and programming by utilizing digital streaming technology. So the benefits of the operators are great. It's cost efficient, it's time efficient, it enables uh, a lot of uh, activity and marketing together and, and a new way of offering content to their customers. Um, the results so far, we launched it uh, January 2023. Overall watch time in our apps increased by 40%. And when we advertise digitally, we do digital marketing and advertise the smart channels. Hey, come, we have a new kids channel. Uh, subscribe to uh, Finbox Plus. Our cost per lead actually went down 50%. It was a huge surprise for us. So now we're trying to leverage that in you know, every country we're active in with digital marketing. And as of now, smart channels make up 13% of all, all our watch time. We just going to show you a quick case, case study. There was a... Um, we had the uh, Oscar movie, seven winning Oscar movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once, launched in March, uh, exclusively on Filmbox uh, TV and app platform. So we launched also, we gathered all our Oscars movies and we launched a smart channels with our operator clients in Hungary and Romania. And it was a huge success for us. Uh, the viewership increased, over doubled actually, in those countries during that pop-up channel. So this is a huge opportunity. Moving forward, how can we leverage these smart channels together with the operators? Basically, these smart channels, if you introduce advertising in them, they turn into fast channels. So obviously, advertising revenues will only go up from now on on the digital platforms. So now this will allow us to have on our SVOD OTT platform also some fast channels and create maybe a different revenue model with it. So in a nutshell, we believe that the future of television is hybrid between lean back and lean forward approach. MediaTek, empowered by AI, will enable the uh, combination of SVOD and traditional viewership experience of linear channels content combination, and it will make easier for us storytellers, content creators and distributors to do it in a better and a faster way. Quality curation is always becoming more important for a good content proposition. And yes, AVOD and SVOD will be offered together. At SPI, we always strive to be a key partner for the operators to, be, to build a great uh, TV product. Thank you for listening.